an airline reservation system is part of the so-called passenger service systems, which are applications supporting the direct contact with the passenger. ARS eventually evolved into the computer reservation system. A computer reservation system is used for the reservations of a particular airline and interfaces with a global distribution system which supports travel agencies and other distribution channels in making reservations for most major airlines in a single system. Overview Airline reservation systems contain airline schedules, fare tariffs, passenger reservations and ticket records. An airline's direct distribution works within their own reservation system, as well as pushing out information to the GDS. A second type of direct distribution channel are consumers who use the Internet or mobile applications to make their own reservations. Travel agencies and other indirect distribution channels access the same GDS as those accessed by the airline's reservation systems, and all messaging is transmitted by a standardized messaging system that functions on two types of messaging that transmit on SITA's HLN, high-level network. These message types are called type A, usually EDIFACT format for real-time interactive communication and type B. TTY for informational and booking type of messages. Message construction standards set by IATA and ICAO, are global, and apply to more than air transportation. Since airline reservation systems are business critical applications, and they are functionally quite complex, the operation of an in-house airline reservation system is relatively expensive. Prior to deregulation, Airlines own their own reservation systems with travel agents subscribing to them. Today, the GDS are run by independent companies with airlines and travel agencies as major subscribers. As of February 2009, there are only four major GDS providers in the market space, Amadeus, Travelport, Sabre and Shares. There is one major regional GDS, Abacus serving the Asian marketplace and a number of regional players serving single countries, including Travelski, Infni and Axis and Topar. Of these, Infni is hosted within the Sabre complex, Axis is in the process of moving into a partition within the World Span complex, and Topar agencies will be migrating into Amadeus. Reservation systems like Navitair hosts ticketless airlines such as Ryonga and AirAsia and hybrid airlines such as AirTran, GOL and Jetstar. In addition to these standardized GDS, some airlines have proprietary versions which they use to run their flight operations. A few examples are Deltamatics OSS system and EDS shares. SITA Reservations remains the largest neutral multi-host airline reservation system, with over 100 airlines currently managing inventory. Inventory Management an Elni Euro unregistered trademark S inventory contains all flights with their available seats. The inventory of an airline is generally divided into service classes and up to 26 booking classes, for which different prices and booking conditions apply. Inventory data is imported and maintained through a schedule distribution system over standardized interfaces. One of the core functions of the inventory management is the inventory control. Inventory control steers how many seats are available in the different booking classes, by opening and closing individual booking classes for sale. In combination with the fares and booking conditions stored in the fare quote system the price for each sold seat is determined. In most cases inventory control has a real-time interface to an Elni Euro unregistered trademark S yield management system to support a permanent optimization of the offered booking classes in response to changes in demand or pricing strategies of a competitor. Availability display and reservation Users access an Elni Euro unregistered trademark S inventory through an availability display. It contains all offered flights for a particular city pair with their available seats in the different booking classes. This display contains flights which are operated by the airline itself as well as code share flights which are operated in cooperation with another airline. If the city pair is not one on which the airline offers service it may display a connection using its own flights or display the flights of other airlines. The availability of seats of other airlines is updated through standard industry interfaces. Depending on the type of cooperation it supports access to the last seat in real time. Reservations for individual passengers or groups are stored in a so-called passenger name record. 
Among other data, the PNR contains personal information such as name, contact information or special services requests for example for a vegetarian meal, as well as the flights and issued tickets. Some reservation systems also allow to store customer data in profiles to avoid data re-entry each time a new reservation is made for a known passenger. In addition most systems have interfaces to CRM systems or customer loyalty applications. Before a flight departs the so-called passenger name list is handed over to the departure control system that is used to check in passengers and baggage. Reservation data such as the number of booked passengers and special service requests is also transferred to flight operations systems, crew management and catering systems. Once a flight has departed the reservation system is updated with a list of the checked in passengers and passengers who checked in, but didn't a Euro unregistered trademark T have a reservation. Finally data needed for revenue accounting and reporting is handed over to administrative systems. Fair quote and ticketing. The fares data store contains fare tariffs, rule sets, routing maps, class of service tables, and some tax information that construct the price a euro the fare. Rules like booking conditions are tailored differently between different city pairs or zones, and assigned a class of service corresponding to its appropriate inventory bucket. Inventory control can also be manipulated manually through the availability feeds dynamically controlling how many seats are offered for a particular price by opening and closing particular classes. The compiled set of fare conditions is called a fare basis code. There are two systems set up for the interchange of fares data a Euro ATPCO and SITA, plus some system-to-system -system direct connects. This system distributes the fare tariffs and rule sets to all GDSs and other subscribers. Every airline employs staff who code airfare rules in accordance with yield management intent. There are also revenue managers who watch fares as they are filed into the public tariffs and make competitive recommendations. Inventory control is typically manipulated from here, using availability feeds to open and close classes of service. The role of the ticketing complex is to issue and store electronic ticket records and the very small number of paper tickets that are still issued. Miscellaneous charges order is still a paper document. IATA has working groups defining the replacement document the electronic multipurpose document as at 2010. The electronic ticket information is stored in a database containing the data that historically was printed on a paper ticket including items such as the ticket number, the fare and tax components of the ticket price or exchange rate information. In the past airlines issued paper tickets. Since 2008 IATA has been supporting a resolution to move to 100% electronic ticketing. So far, the industry has not been able to comply due to various technological and international limitations. The industry is at 98% electronic ticket issuance today although electronic processing for MCOs was not available in time for the IATA mandate. Major Systems History the history of airline reservation systems began in the late 1950s when American Airlines required a system that would allow real-time access to flight details in all of its offices, and the integration and automation of its booking and ticketing processes. As a result, the first electronic reservation system, Magnetronic Reservisor, was introduced in 1952. Many years later, Sabre was developed and launched in 1964. Sabre's breakthrough was its ability to keep inventory correct in real time, accessible to agents around the world. Prior to this, manual systems required centralized reservation centers, groups of people in a room with the physical cards that represented inventory, in this case, seats on airplanes. The deregulation of the airline industry, in the Airline Deregulation Act, meant that airlines, which had previously operated under government set fares ensuring airlines at least broke even, now needed to improve efficiency to compete in a free market. In this deregulated environment the ARS and its descendants became vital to the travel industry. See also Further reading, Winston, Clifford, The Evolution of the Airline Industry, Brookings Institution Press, 1995. ISBN 0 8157 5843X. CF. Pages 61 a Euro 62.
Computer Reservation Systems. Waddell, David J., Airline Reservation Systems, 1991. Research Paper. References.